but not before we head to South Korea, the northwest of South Korea, where we find a very happy and very successful Football Ferns head coach, Yitka Klimkova. How are you doing after a 2-0 win over South Korea? You are everybody. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. We all are so happy that we achieved what we wanted. We wanted to steal from Korea those three points, and we've done it, and uh, we've deserved it. And it feels really good. It feels good. Can't wait for another tour. Yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in action yet again. Look, I, I want to start with um, what appears to be one of your favourite analogies. You talk a lot about the ice cream, and a, a game of football is much like your relationship with an ice cream. Uh, you want to hold the ice cream, you want to lick the ice cream. Eventually, at the end of 90 minutes, you want to have enjoyed the ice cream so much, you've eaten it. Now, in game one, you kind of had the ice cream and it fell on the floor. Game two, you managed to eat the entire ice cream. So that must have been pretty cool. It's, it tastes good. It really <laughs> tastes good. It tastes good. And, um, well, I hope uh, in the future we will have another flavour, you know? Well, what, what was the flavour last night? Was that sort of like Neapolitan and we're looking for maybe some sort of salted caramel chocolate explosion? It, uh, it was very sweet. And uh, that's something what uh, everybody really enjoyed. When I saw the players actually after the game, their first reaction was, all right, we would, the only thing what we want right now, it's actually the real ice cream. <laughs> and we had, it, we had a little cheer with the ice cream. And um, yeah, we can wait to have another one. What were those emotions like immediately after the game, Yitka? Because... This is a fern side that hasn't tasted success since March 2020. And we've all seen, those people who have watched the games against Canada and against South Korea, we've seen this growth, we've seen this development. So can you describe for us what the emotions were like in the immediate aftermath of that result? Because I'm pretty sure I saw all of the, the players on the bench immediately swamp you. And that must speak a little bit to your relationship with the squad and the buy-in as well. Well, it just came naturally, you know. It's um, we knew uh, the goals that we are going to score are something what we want to celebrate, and you could see the players on the field how they were running uh, towards each other, and and we did the same thing on the bench. Uh, we are living every minute uh, uh, during the game with the team. We are on the field. We are cheering. We are fixing. We are helping each other. We are a team. And the team worked together and we all celebrated the same thing that we wanted so much. We wanted to score goals and we wanted to win. So I'm so glad that we really played for win for more than 90 minutes. And we got it. We got it. The victory in game two. two. Yeah. The victory in game two, Yitka. Uh, do you feel like, in a, in a sense, that was validation for your tactics and the, the, the style of play you're trying to... Uh, have this football fern side employ? You know what? The, this team is so coachable. And how we, are, we were already talking about how quickly we progressed in Canada, uh, what we've done here in Korea. Every training session, uh, every time we were on the field, I could see that improvement, that development, that, that, uh, that feeling that we are finding our feet, we are understanding our style of play. So... It was just really the the, uh, the ice cream, the, the sherry on the on the cake that we we achieved, that we stole the win, and we are um, coming home with three points uh, from away. And can you imagine when we will play at home? Mm. So and we can wait. Yeah, I can't wait to see you guys back at home at some point. It would be marvellous. I don't know when that'll be. Maybe it'll be sometime in 2022. Look, the, uh, the, the buy-in from the players that I mentioned earlier, how, how happy are you that they're getting to, to grips with or getting the, the, the swing of things so soon? Uh, because, you know, they're, they're used to Tom Sumani, the, the past Football Ferns coach, used to his tactics, the things that he wanted to see in his side. And so quickly, we're seeing this transition. 
We're seeing a high press. We're seeing players wanting to express themselves when in possession of the football. How, are you, like, ecstatic with the, the quick changeover, the, the adaptability to this new game plan? Um, you know what? It, it's, it's more like about the hunger. I could see how hungry the players are for attacking style of play. And I am a big believer if we will control the ball, if we will co control the game, having the ball on our feet, uh, that's more closer to actually win the games. So first of, first of all, that mindset that we really want to play that kind of football when we want to play to win and not to lose, that's the first thing what we've... Uh, what I've seen that the team was hungry for. And the second, it's a huge credit to the players, how coachable they are, mm -hmm. how uh, courageous they start to be. They, 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 we were brave. We, we were taking the risks. We, were for, we went for for it. We knew we are going to make mistakes, but that's how we are going to learn. So it's just amazing how much uh, uh, coachable this team is. And I have to give uh, credit to everybody who is involved in this team, the staff that we had here in Korea or in Canada, staff that is working from New Zealand. It's just clicking together. Mm -hmm. You know, we are putting those puzzles together and it's working. And it's working towards positive results. The thing that made Game 2's result all the more impressive is that you did it without your captain. 140 caps of experience, the skipper is out injured, you bring in a debutante in Ashley Ward. And to think that your only really seriously experienced players are the likes of Betsy Hassett and Rhea Percival, and everybody else is still finding their feet at international level, that must fill you with joy and pride. Uh, Garen, you know, this is something what is special about this team. Ali Riley wanted to play. She couldn't even walk after our game, our first game. She could not walk. She was uh, in pain. And she was like, Can, give, me a, give me one more day. Maybe I will be okay. She really wanted to keen to play. We tried. We tried. She tried. It didn't work out. And the first thing what she said to us, what can I do? And we were, can you sit with Ash and give her some guidance, give, coach her up, give her some of your thoughts, how you felt during the game. She spent with her 30 minutes just talking about, Ash, this is what is important. This is what you uh, should do in attack. This is your role in defense. This is the player you might be facing to. And that's the way how, how we want to operate, uh, helping each other, supporting each other, and being and working as a, as a team. And that's how I feel. Well, with that Ali Riley guidance, what were your impressions of Ashley Ward on debut? She didn't do too badly. And it, it seemed to me that the, the South Koreans were trying to play down the other side of the field, not trying to expose the debutante. <laughs> well, she did amazing. You know, we talked about our game plan and we were like, Ash, give us 45 minutes, give us 60 minutes, leave everything on the field. After the game, she was like, what were you thinking? What do you mean 45 minutes? What do you mean 60 minutes? So that's how her mentality is, how her mindset is. She's an amazing human being and competitor. And she actually showed herself that she can play this level. So I believe this is the inspiration for her to really take... Um, football more seriously and start to maybe um, looking for the league that is more challenging for her. Mm. And that was the goal, to bring her in. And she just nailed it. What about Paige Satchel and Gabby Rennie? Uh, you, you made a couple of substitutions uh, throughout the game and they really paid dividends, didn't they? Uh, Paige Satchel with her extra pace, Gabby Rennie with her power. Uh, how, how pleased with those substitutions. And obviously, they were the ones who provided the, the match-winning goals. Yeah, we, we were thinking about the balance that we need uh, in um, our, with our front three. We know Liv's quality. We know how technical she is. We know that she can deliver, which happened twice. Uh, we know that Gabby is the strong, powerful, who can hold the ball, who can maybe lay the ball off and then make the movement behind the, the back four. And we know about Paige's speed. Um, 
And that's what the amazing combination that that worked out. Leaf provided the, the passes. Uh, Gabby pushed it through. And Paige just uh, went behind their back four and, and scored an amazing goal. So very pleased with the, the cooperation of our uh, forwards and our finishers, how they've changed our game and really played uh, you know, with our game, they, they follow the game plan. That's exactly what we wanted. And it's just amazing to see how everything worked out. Yeah, you can't ask for uh, much more than that. I suppose if you, if you wanted to take it back a little bit, the goals were scored in uh, the last 10 minutes of the game, but uh, somebody who gave you the opportunity to win the match against South Korea was Victoria Essen in goal. Her first half performance was quite simply put, sublime. Uh, she kept you in it. Uh, sometimes the saves were a little bit questionable, but at other times, she really commanded that area. And I suppose what it's done for you now is you've got three really good quality goalkeepers, so that's providing you with a bit of a selection headache, isn't it? <laughs> Goran, this is the best uh, challenge for the coach. <laughs> if the coach doesn't know who is the better one, so I think the time will show us uh, it's awesome to have this kind of competition in the goal, this kind of competition with our backs, it, this kind of competition with our midfield, with our forwards. This is what we need. We need to fight for the positions. We need to compete with each other so we can compete against the uh, other teams that, that uh, are going to compete against us. Mm. So who, after the two games in Korea, and not just the, the on-field fixtures, but with their, their work ethic and training, who really impressed you? Who enhanced their reputation? Honestly, team ethic, team spirit, team coachability. That's the biggest uh, takeaway that I have from, from those two, team, uh, two tours. It's, uh, it's, oh, it's incredible what we've done during those two months. And that's the most impressive thing about uh, 2021. The progress, the improvement, the development, and then the commitment uh, to actually follow what, what we wanted. Look, it's not all roses. Um, yes, we, we love the result, um, but there is still much more work to be done. What aspects of the Football Ferns play aren't you happy with? What needs work? Uh, we are aware that it's very important to have quality daily environment. And that's something what is, uh, what is the priority for now for the players to really find that environment that is challenging, that is pushing them so they can work on their individual performance plans, which we put together here uh, with most players here in Korea. Uh, we have probably five, six that we are going to organize in December virtually, but we are putting the plans together for them and they need to find a way how they can improve individually. So that's the first thing first, that we, we need to uh, be very committed between our tours. So when we come together in February, we are prepared to compete against strong oppositions. Do we have any idea who the opposition is in February? Come on, please tell me. Please. OK, maybe we'll just let that one slide. <laughs> hey, look, it's great to hear that you guys are going to be uh, having more football, though. Yes, absolutely. And we are really looking forward for the teams that are going to challenge us the most. How are you enjoying the job, Yitka? Um, you, you've signed a contract through to the end of time. Uh, it's, it's that long a contract. Uh, it must be kind of weird to try and break it down into small segments and, and you know, make sure you, you're ticking off milestones and goals along the way just to make it not as daunting. But, uh, you know, how are you enjoying it? Um, your, your feet under the desk for two or three months now. I love every minute of it. I love working with the players. I love working with the uh, people that are actually new in New Zealand and working hard behind the scene. I love working with the staff that, uh, that is here with us in Korea, was with us in Canada. Sometimes, you know, 
um, you are coming to the tours and uh, you are uh, meeting the person first time ever <laughs> and it just was amazing how we worked together as a as a team around the team and again it's huge credit to everybody who was involved because without the teamwork we wouldn't be where we are mm. we as human beings we can be really um, hard on ourselves we can be our, our toughest harshest critics H how do you feel you've gone uh, across those four games do you think that you've you've done well what can you do differently how can you improve well, every time, every day, as a as a coach, as a player, this is what we are looking for. We want to get better every day. And having, the, for example, the coaching staff around me that is challenging me and asking me great questions when we have to think about tactics, when we have to think about starting starters, uh, finishers, game changers, all those situations are making me better and stronger coach. So uh, I have to thank to the to the coaching staff to the team that is here to the players that are challenging me every day on the field asking me amazing questions and well sometimes i don't have the answer and i will i let them know hey i will check it out i have to see the video and let's come back to it and it's okay you know so yes we are progressing we are improving even as a, as a coaches or whoever is involved in the team we are doing debriefs after each uh, sessions we are doing debrief after after each day uh, together what we've done well what we can do better next time and that's how we are we are uh, getting and improving getting better and improving um, as a staff and how do you think you might try and integrate some of those uh, very experienced players that were unavailable for not only the Canadian tour but the Korean tour. I'm thinking about the likes of Annalie Longo who was sat in studio watching, uh, jealous on Tuesday night of, of what you, you your team was doing. Uh, Annalie Longo, Hannah Wilkinson, Rosie White who was in Canada, Abby Ursig. There is so much talent, so much experience to come back. And I suppose it's your job to, A, convince them to come back and, B, integrate them into this new philosophy and style of play. Doesn't sound very easy. The door is open. Uh, all of them know that this door for them to come in is absolutely open. It's now about our communication, conversation. What can we do uh, for them to be involved? Uh, for us, what we can do for them to motivate them to, to be part of this team. And hopefully in 2022, we are going to see them soon. Mm, brilliant. Hey, Yitka, we, um, we started the conversation talking about your analogy regarding ice creams. And the other day, I said to you that I'd bring an ice cream into the studio. Um, I have, but it's melted under the um, studio lights. Just want you to get a good look at that, though. It's a cookie crumble. Um, and I was mm. going to eat that. Uh, but I can't because it'll just go everywhere. So, you know, uh, best intentions and all that. I apologise. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll put it back in the freezer and see if I can eat it later on, maybe uh, with dinner tonight. Yetka Klimkova, thank you so yeah. much for joining us on the yeah. Kiwi Football Fix. And congratulations for all you've achieved over the last four games and for all that you will achieve in the years to come. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much.